Hello everybody. Today we will continue speaking about the general principles of fractures. Complications. They can be divided to based on the time and based on the area. Based on the time, immediate complications, early complications and late complications. The immediate complications takes from minutes to hours to appear. As for the early complications from hours to days, and as for the late complications from week to month. Complications classification based on the area, which can be local or general. Complications, the immediate local complications. Number one is the neurovascular injuries. Investigation for this immediate local complication is based on Doppler ultrasound and angiography. As for the treatment, is suture after the fracture stabilization. The mechanism for this neurovascular injury can be contusion, elongation, or compression. The different types include neuropraxis, axonotemsis, or neurotemsis. The second immediate local complication is open fractures, as for number 3 is visceral injuries, 4 soft tissue interposition, and 5 hypovolemic or traumatic shock, and 6 fat embolism. Now we will speak about the early local complications. One is soft tissue contusions, ischemia, which is such as blisters, necrosis, swelling. Two, infection. How can you diagnose an infection? clinically based, biochemical based, and bacteriologically based. The treatment for this infection is surgically, early excision and debridement, or antibiotherapy. The third is compartment syndrome. The fourth complication is DVT. The fifth complication is thromboembolic disease, DVT plus PE. Now we will speak about the early general complications. 1. Pressure sores, 2. Respiratory and or urinary infections, 3. Pulmonary embolism. Furthermore, now let's speak about the late local complications. These include delayed union and non-union, which is also called pseudoarthrosis, and the etiology for this non-union includes deficient, deficient reduction, mobility, and fragment devascularization, which all of these etiologies will lead to a non-union. The different types of non-union include plus minus bone loss, atrophic or hypertrophic, normal or abnormal axis, and for an infected non-union. The third complication of the early general is malunion. Fourth joint stiffness. 5. Arthritis, vascular necrosis 6, and 7. Reflex sympathetic dystrophy. Now let's speak about the general treatment of fractures. These can be conservative, surgical, and functional therapy. These involve reduction, fixation, and functional rehab. Let's first speak about the conservative type of treatment. Conservative type involves reduction and fixation. Let's start speaking about reduction. Reduction as a conservative treatment is closed reduction. And you follow the opposite sense of the fracture displacement. The main maneuver of this closed reduction is axial traction. The methods can be manual or instrumental using the skeletal traction. The reduction. Skeletal traction using Kirchner wires plus the orthopedic horseshoe. The goals from this skeletal traction, which is under the, the conservative reduction treatment, you fight the muscle contraction, fragment alignment, and three, you restore the limb. Reduction is done under anesthesia, which is local, regional, or general, IV, or spinal. The conservative treatment, the second part after the reduction, is the fixation or immobilization, using cast splints, which are like plasters, bandages, and orthosis.
The immobilization fixation like the plaster cast, we can have complications for this plaster cast and contraindications. Let's start speaking about the complications of the plaster cast. These involve nervous vascular compression, pressure sores, and joint stiffness. As for the contraindications of the plaster cast, let's speak about they are diabetes, arterial insufficiency, blisters, and different skin conditions that may occur.